Well, folks, we really gone goofed it this time. We gone, we gone goofed and doofed up the, we doof the goof, <laughs> goofed, goof the doofed. What on earth? What are you talking about? All right, three, two, one. Well, folks, we really want, we really gone goofed it this time. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, we really gone goofed it this time. Wow. Uh, hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. My name is Simon, otherwise known as The Domizzle in the Hizzle. And today, I come to you, um, after a few days of, of gentle contemplation, reflection on the state of affairs, and boy howdy, there, there's quite a state we got ourselves, quite a pickle. Uh, we've barked up the wrong tree, the 343 tree. The apples aren't looking too ripe on that tree anymore. Maybe maybe the apples have all fallen off. It's winter time. There's a thin line of snow all over the trees and they ain't they ain't producing any apples until the spring. <sighs> Uh, Halo has been through a lot. A lot. Um, it's kind of been through a lot the last four or five years. And being a Halo fan has been a struggle. An upwards struggle that has uh, never really back down. I can't even see if my, 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 my camera is recording. Uh, let's see. Let's see what that looks like. And that struggle has been consistent, uh, like a never-ending headache, a migraine at the back of your head, thinking, what's happening here? Halo is the greatest franchise of all time, yet it just can never get going. It's always just stuck at that little hurdle that it, it just can never get over. And also, <clears throat> my voice is dying. I've been on a, a hurdle, a struggle of my own. Uh, I've been sick for the last two weeks since I got back to England. Actually, I've not lived in England for six and a half years, and I've been building myself up kind of for six and a half years, thinking, what'll it be like when I get home? Will I hit the ground running with some new fresh ideas? Or will I get sick for two weeks and then just as I'm on the other side of the sickness, find out that 343's basically laid off half of its staff? Well, Microsoft, not 343's laid off. Uh, Microsoft has laid off 343. Just a crazy bombshell to, to be hit with. Just as I'm getting back to England and just as I'm starting that new chapter of my life and wanting to produce Halo content, like Mega Constructs content, like that's what I love doing. So to, to, get, to get back home and having built myself up thinking this is it, this is when you're gonna hit the ground run day in, day out Halo content, and then yeah, no, 343's uh, had a, a lot of its staff laid off. Ooh, harsh time to be a Halo fan. And a lot of people have been messaging me the last few days saying, oh Simon, so sorry about the news. What's gonna happen next? Are you gonna get a real job? Are you gonna get a, a, a a working man's job. No, I'm gonna double down. I mean, seriously, is anybody listening to me? I want to be a full-time content creator. I want to be a social media marketer. I want to advertise, promote my brand, and grow something here. I want to grow a community and an audience. You think because I've had this huge setback, because the whole community's had this huge setback, that's just gonna mean I move on? No, 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 it, no it's not. Halo. And Halo merchandise in general, I believe, still has a future. <laughs> Be it a <laughs> pretty unpredictable future at this point, but it has a future. You're gonna have to excuse the very cut and paste editing of this video and really the production value in general. I have a big idea for where I want to take my content in the future, and this is just gonna be my first draft of what I kind of want to do um, on my own separate YouTube channel on a different channel than this. Still gonna focus on the domain a lot, but I want to launch some other projects. I want to do some things that I find creative and this kind of editing, this kind of narration, this kind of vlogging is what I want to do. Um, so you're gonna have to excuse that this hasn't been planned, this hasn't been scripted, and I didn't think this was gonna be the first kind of video that I did in this format, but at the same time, this is the biggest news that we've received all year. This is the biggest news that affects me personally from the last year in terms of my future, in terms of content creation. So I thought, why not? 
Let's just merge the two things together, do a test on this kind of video format, and also talk about Halo and why it's so important and why this news is so important to me, and I'm sure the majority of my community. I don't know any more or any less than anyone else. I've tried to do my research on Twitter, <laughs> of all places to do research, and the more I find out, the more it contradicts previous information I knew. For example, the amount of layoffs, which departments those layoffs are from, whether or not 343 is just gonna become an independent publisher now or still a video game studio, I don't know. And I'm not gonna pretend to know in this video. I'm gonna talk about, in this video, why I care about this news, what I wanna do going forward, why I'm not leaving Halo behind or Halo content creation or Halo collecting because it is part of my identity. It's in my blood, it's literally a part of me. Like, and I'm sure a lot of people can agree. Halo has been in my life for as long as I can like literally remember. Like I don't have a lot of memories from when I was a child. I think most of my memories from a child are either built up over camcorder footage that I've watched or photos that I've seen or maybe traumatic or really high pleasure moments. But really I don't remember a lot of my childhood like most people. What I do remember is playing Halo. Like when I bought my first Xbox to play Halo with my brother, the first time I booted up Valhalla, the first time I ran a Halo gaming convention, the first time I met Halo fans abroad and went Halo hunting in America and went to HCS last year. And so much of my history and so much of me is embedded in this franchise. I think a lot of people in this community would call me a 343 defender. A lot of people would call me a 343 shill if you wanna say that, I, that's fine. I've defended 343 Industries a lot, and Halo Infinite. I think there's a good balance of defending something that you're passionate about uh, without obviously just being blind to problems that need to be addressed. At this point, I'm not gonna stand here and defend 343 Industries any longer. I obviously feel terribly sad for anyone who has lost their jobs, particularly anyone that's worked there for a long time. Going out with a layoff after you've done maybe 10 years at the studio is a terrible shame. 343 didn't deliver on Halo Infinite. That is clear. The majority of what is in Halo Infinite is exceptionally good and probably the best in franchise history. History. The multiplayer is electric, like it's so fun. Even that new Covert Ops flag game mode with uh, the new JFO Battle Pass. Uh, I don't even remember what it is off the, the Joint Ops, that's it, Joint Ops. Great time, like I've had a really solid time playing Halo Infinite multiplayer with my friends. The Forge is outrageous. Like every Forge night we've had a full lobby of just friends playing Halo, which I've not had as much fun with Halo since Halo 4's multiplayer, and Forge brought that back for me. The campaign, I will always have deep, fond memories of, especially playing with uh, one of my best friends, and the uh, the boss fights, particularly in the campaign, my goodness. The sound design, the music in that game is exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't deliver. Whether that's Microsoft's fault or not, we will never know. But what we do know is Microsoft invested a lot of money into that game. I don't think it delivered. A lot of this restructuring at 343 was probably to send a message. But again, I don't know the facts. And I'm not here to act like some news source that's gonna tell you this solid information. And I also really recommend that when you watch other videos about the layoffs, about Halo Infinite's restructuring and about 343 Industries, don't take what people are saying as fact because a lot of the time we don't know. Unless there's a genuine post, and even if there is an official post by 343 or Microsoft, there's an agenda to either protect Microsoft or protect employees or protect someone. There's an agenda with everything that's written online. So don't always just take it as fact. You know, spending time on Twitter over the last few days, I, I see one rumor and then about an hour later, I see it posted by someone else's fact. And I'm like, I don't, I like, I'm not following. <laughs> so I'm not here to like drive home exact numbers of layoffs, exactly what departments I don't know. And I don't think you do either. Right now we don't know the facts. All we do know is that uh, it's a terrible shame for anyone that's laid off and I really hope they land on their feet and find future employment quickly. And in terms of Microsoft laying off 10,000 employees, it does seem a little weird that you're offering to buy Bethesda and Activision for billions of dollars, but you can't afford to pay your employees. So I mean, that's a that's another big rabbit hole that I, I'm not sure if I want to go down. I think it will be really interesting to see over the next couple of months if, uh, is that too low? <laughs>
<laughs> I thought that would be way, way higher. Uh, I think it'll be interesting over the next few months to see uh, if whistleblowers come out from 343. Uh, there's been a lot of employees that have been laid off, and um, apart from like maybe some NDAs that they've signed, um, I think people are going to start talking about Halo. I've seen a couple of people saying that like, you know, Halo was set up to fail by Microsoft. I don't know. When there's fact, I would love to discuss it. But again, it's like right now, I'm not going to stoke any kind of fire. And I'm certainly not going to get on the bandwagon of saying 343 is doomed, Halo is dead. I just don't believe in those apocalyptic tales. Until I see evidence, I'm going to back the horse that Halo still has a bright future. And I know some people will say, oh, Simon, that's force positivity. You know, you can't just blindly follow Halo. I get that you can't blindly follow, uh, you know, Halo if there's if there's bad business practices. I was one of the first people to speak out against the microtransactions in the game. I thought there were, you know, there are certain things that allowed voice uh, let's 343 know, uh, for example, when they tried to put microtransactions into MCC as well. Like, there's, a, there's some good examples of channeling, uh, you know, your voice and saying, hey, uh, don't, don't like that one too much. In this situation, um, and, and it, it sounds bleak when I say like this, but like, what else do we have? Like, what else do I have other than to uh, continue to push Halo forward and to push this community forward. Um, I have so many people, uh, countless, countless friends that I've made through Halo, countless people that I know depend on my social medias uh, and my Discord for, uh, you know, engagement with the community and to find friends and to talk to people about passionate passions that maybe they feel like are a little bit shunned from society like toy collecting i'm not going to abandon any of my communities and i hope they continue to flourish for the also for, just for like this the mental health of young people but when it comes to halo what else am i going to do i don't play too many video games i've played halo for my entire life and this is sort of like a, the self-fulfilling prophecy right if people say halo is dead and then people stop playing it because halo is dead and then the numbers are very bad, then Halo becomes dead. It's all self-fulfilling. I'm gonna continue to act like Halo is not dead. I mean, they didn't, they've even said, uh, and this is direct from 343, they've said that there was no plan yet for a campaign DLC. They were just focusing on the multiplayer. And from what we've seen, most of the layoffs seem to be around the campaign. Again, I'm not uh, saying anything as fact. There's been rumors that season four's canceled. Apparently they're not true. I think they're gonna continue to, to flog this dead horse. <laughs> oh wait, that doesn't help my argument at all. <laughs> In terms of content on the domain, uh, please don't expect anything to change. I might do a lot more of these talking videos. I would love to, uh, you know, perfect my craft more with that. But don't expect anything really to change. I'm still going to keep up with videos every two days, sometimes daily. I'll be getting into YouTube shorts. I love live streams. I'm not going anywhere. I've built this community for 10 years with the help of a lot of incredible people. And I've just no interest in letting it die. No interest whatsoever. I have no interest in stopping to support Mega or any company that are producing Halo merch, and I don't think Halo is gonna go anywhere in terms of that core audience that support them. There's a reason that Halo Mega Blocks stayed on store shelves for six years after Halo 5. There is a core audience that will never let them down and never turn around and betray them. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I get a little Rick Hassley choked up there. I think that the merchandise will still continue. I think that Mega will still continue at some capacity, and I think Halo will still be a beloved IP. They're still going to keep the multiplayer team and I think Microsoft still wants that hot dollar. I think they're still going to try and push forward with the seasons and with all the different updates that come with that. I think we can all agree that Halo's future is very uncertain. No idea what's going to happen. It's one of those situations where at any moment there could be a Kotaku news article published that says it's all over. But until then, I'm gonna act like it's not. I mean, it's the same as like, like if you if you thought, well, no, maybe this isn't the best example. I was gonna say if you thought your job was going under, would you quit early? Maybe not, because maybe then you wouldn't get severance. 
I was gonna say I feel bad for general Halo YouTubers where their only income is their channel, and that kind of is me right now. <laughs> it's like, what's 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 meant to do? What's a man to do? Am I gonna give up on this uh, after having this channel for 10 years? Am I just gonna accept that YouTube's dead? Am I even in shot? I cannot tell. I thought it would be cool if I sat down mid-shot, but I do not think I was in shot. <sighs> I mean, Halo is my uh, number one source of income right now. I was amongst many YouTubers that thought that the launch of Halo Infinite was going to skyrocket our careers. And it did not. It did not at all. I've seen pretty steady growth. I had a really good uh, Christmas of 20... 21 when the game released. That was a very good month. Just been chugging along. Just been chugging. Uh, yeah, I was amongst a lot of people who thought that my uh, career was going to, you know, really head for the stars. And it has in a lot of ways. I mean, I went to HCS. I met all of my role models. I've been producing a lot of really high quality content that I couldn't have dreamed of years ago. Really what I've been focusing on, and this is some good advice in life. If things aren't going at the speed you want, if, if you're frustrated that you feel like you're stagnating or you feel like the growth should be way more than it is, focus on now and focus on what you're learning now. I mean, my editing has gone through the roof. I can edit an hour of footage in like 30 minutes now. I mean, my, my skills with videography, with understanding tech, uh, a lot of software has exponentially increased. It's a bold statement to make because, wow, that is so bright. <laughs> uh, it's a bold statement to make when uh, you're against the wall and you don't feel like you're progressing well enough because I know everyone's situation is different. Every circumstance in life is different from someone else's. But as long as you can try and focus on what you're learning in that moment, skills that you're developing right now, how you're leveling up your skill tree in GTA. <laughs> GTA, does GTA have a skill? Skill tree. Unfortunately, we live in a society where money is the thing that matters, but if you can really focus on what you're learning in the present moment, then it's going to be okay. I don't think I'm going to have crazy growth on the domain at all this year, especially with what's happened with Infinite. But what am I learning? I am getting better and better at understanding social media, search engine optimization, videography, just so many skills because I'm taking the time to try and do this self-employed full-time and I'm not earning any money I, I it was kind of tragic when I was going through my tax forms and I realized how little money I've been earning I mean I knew but but it's it's, uh, it's I try and make it uh, out like it's not all about that and of course it is about money in life and I need money very badly please support my patreon <laughs> but Ah, uh, it's it doesn't have to all be about that. You know the ancient proverb, never work a day in your life if you're doing something you love, or no, it's the other way around. Uh, if you're doing something you love, you never work a day in your life. I mean, I like to think that's true with YouTube. I've gone through uh, a few different jobs in my life. I was a teacher in Asia for a long time. Really, the second I started doing YouTube part-time and then full-time, I knew that I'd found my calling in life for content creation. I spent a lot of last year in America just soaking up being in the States and knowing that I'd only really ever live in America once. But now this year is about me doing the hard work. And uh, yeah, the domain is going to be a big part of that. And so is uh, my new YouTube channel, Simon Says, which is the most tongue in cheek name ever. <laughs> and I've tried and tested it with a lot of focus groups and people like it so my you my new youtube yeah my you youtube channel my new youtube channel is called simon says and you can find it in the link and the description in the comments down below it's gonna be a lot of this it's gonna be a lot of me trying out new things i almost fell backwards there and i really hope you can go and support it because it's gonna mean the world to me to give that a go this year that's how i'm gonna try and make my money it's gonna how i'm trying to trying to make some bread the theory is if i can continue full-time on youtube um and i have the support of uh you know my red bubble and my patron and uh my other 
Um, I'm going to be doing 3D printing a lot this year and selling um, a lot of video game merch and things like that. Uh, if, if I can get the support on my other streams and hopefully on this new YouTube channel, Simon Says, which is going to be more of a commentary YouTube channel, a talking head YouTube channel, which apparently is uh, the bee's knees these days. It's what all the cool kids are doing. If I can get support on those and those, you know, grant me some funds, then I can continue making domain videos, probably even get some editors and just continue making making Halo merch videos forever. I mean, hey, one of the positives is if Halo gets cancelled, then th there's only a, s a finite amount of merchandise. I can then truly collect it all. If Halo gets cancelled, you can then truly buy it all. <laughs> that is the most uh, optimistic approach from a bleak situation, gosh. So has the news from the last few days been brutal? Yes. Has the constant struggle <laughs> for Halo's supremacy over the video game landscape been, has been just, br just brutal to watch? Like, Halo's just been on its knees for years. Um, yeah, it's been horrible. Do I uh, have a an immense amount of grief felt towards uh, all of those poor staff at 343 that got laid off? Yes, absolutely. But do I think Halo's dead? Do I think this is the end? No, I don't. And I don't think you should either. If you want to move on from Halo because you're sick of all this, fine. I don't blame you, actually. I really don't blame you. But me particularly, with my future, with my past, and my present right now, I, I, I'm just not going to abandon this franchise. I, I love it too much. I love the community. I love the people. Every single person I've met at 343 Industries has been an absolute pleasure to be around. I just don't think it's the end. What I really hope from this video is that it doesn't uh, garnish, like, really any... Uh, negative feedback. I know that's a bit ridiculous. You can't say when you make a video, please don't be negative. I just, this is my own personal thoughts and um, this is me just trying to uh, scrape together some kind of level of optimism from this bleak situation. And I hope you guys feel the same way about it. Um, I'm not trying to just be positive for positive sake. Like this is a very dire situation and I am sick and tired. I'm exhausted. Halo is Halo, baby. But I just don't think there's any franchise like this on the planet. And I don't think there's many games that pull the same kind of nostalgia of better times than the original trilogy of Halo games. Um, it truly was just a, a blessed time to be a Halo fan. And it sounds like I'm choking up. <laughs> I'm actually just, uh, <clears throat> Just dying a little bit. <laughs> oh. Damn. The domain is going to stick around and produce as many videos as possible and help push these great IPs and these great merchandise franchise I What? what? <laughs> merchandise franchise IPs. You're just throwing every word you know out. <laughs> no. Uh, pushing these awesome Halo merchandises as much as I can because they're, they're absolutely gorgeous. They deserve recognition and love. So that'll do it for today, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in and I really do appreciate anyone who stayed to the end. You can find me on social medias at 343shill. <laughs> Oh man, um, this has been a crazy video to make, something that uh, I've been putting off hugely. Uh, in terms of this, uh, this, this kind of content, I've been pushing off making one of these, these talking head videos because uh, I've, I've been so insanely busy and moving countries and also sick, and it's just not been a good time to do it. So, um, yeah. I, I hope you enjoy. If you enjoy this kind of content, please do make sure to follow me on my Patreon. I want to be using my Patreon money over the next couple of months to be buying a lot of different lights, some different tripods, some different camera lenses, so I can do a lot of really crazy kind of videos um, in this talking fashion. I think my main uh, aim for this, like, Simon Says YouTube channel is just talking about, like, topics that matter to me, topics that matter to my community, things that I need, uh, things that need attention drawn to them, uh, communities that need help, um, video game drama, like, just really anything that people enjoy listening to me ramble about with little to no knowledge of the core subject. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so shout out to y'all. Stay awesome. Stay safe out there. Make sure to check out my new channel, Simon Says. Link in the description comments. And uh, Halo is uh, not dead. Dying, <laughs> but not dead. <laughs> uh, this has been Halo Boy. And I'll see you next time, folks. The domain is signing off. Certainly not for the last time. Peace.